Hello everybody! This is our video solution to problem 5 from Super Quiz 2. And like 4, we're playing around with unit step functions, piecewise defined functions. Here though, we start with a piecewise defined function. And we want to rewrite it as a combination of unit step functions. And then we're going to graph it. Okay, well let's give it a try. So what do we see? Well the first thing I see is that t starts at 4 plus t, right? Right from the beginning. Uh, or rather, g starts at 4 plus t, uh, right? So uh, I can actually just start here with 4 plus t. And then when does something happen, right? Well, okay, so the special points are going to be at 1 and at 2, or rather, negative 1 and at 2. So what happens at negative 1? Well, instead of 4 plus t, I now want it to be a 6. So let's see, here's how I could make this happen. I could turn off 4 plus t. So I could do negative 4 minus t. That turns it off. And then I could add 6. So this will get rid of 4 plus t, and it will make it go up 6. And that happens at negative 1. So I multiply by u negative 1 of t. All right, next. When I get up to 2, something else is going to change. I don't want a 6 anymore. I want e to the negative t. So I can turn off the 6 with a minus 6 and turn on the e to the negative t. And we multiply by u2 of t. All right. So a little simplification. We have 4 plus t. And then let's see. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. So I'll have 2 minus t times u negative 1 of t. And then, well, there's not much to do here, right? I could write this, if I like, e to the negative t minus 6. It doesn't really matter. Cool. All right, we have written it now as a combination of unit step functions. Well, let's graph it. Okay, well, let's see. Again, the special points are going to be at negative 1 and at 2. So what happens? We start with the line 4 plus t. So that's an increasing line. And it's going to go up, up, up at a slope of 1. Now, when we get to negative 1, let's see, negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So we'll have 1, 2, 3. So we get this point right here. The slope is 1. So, hey, let's see, what if I went back to negative 2? Then it would go down by 1, right, to 2. So there you go. And at negative 1, we it actually might do something a little different. So let's put a hole, and then we can draw our our straight line going down. Okay, now when we get to negative 1, it jumps all the way up to 6. Ooh, 4, 5, 6. All right, so this is my g of t, by the way. There's my t axis. Okay, so it's just a constant function now. Starting at negative 1 and going all the way to 2. So I'll put a little hole at 2 and connect these dots. All right, and now what happens at 2? Well, it's not 6 anymore. It turns into e to the negative t. Ah, it's a nice decaying exponential. So this would be e to the negative 2, 1 over e squared. Now, e is between 2 and 3, so uh, it's like between a fourth and a ninth. Okay, it's pretty tiny, right? It's down here. All right, and we know the decaying exponential is just going to keep on going down, getting closer to 0. All right, so that's what our g of t is going to look like. A little straight line going up, a constant function, and then dropping down into a decaying exponential. One more, and I think we'll have it. 